All right, I'm here with Rhett. We're at the Dinosaur Valley State Park. Uh, we're going to be doing the outer rim loop. I think it's the Cedar Break loop. I'll put it on the screen, but uh, it should be eight and a half miles long. I'm going to try to see if we can find some dinosaur tracks, and we're heading on there now. It's super busy. Just starting at the, uh, the Blue Hole. Yeah, the Blue Hole entry area, so we'll see how it goes. Starting at the Blue Hole. I'm gonna be going to the right, going to the only dry crossing that I know of. Come on, Rick. Oh, dude. We go see those tracks don't go in there it's pretty cedar break outer loop falling up here uh, i think that area is closed oh it is going uphill Gorgeous. What do you think, Red? So far, give me some, give me some pointers. What do we? What do we? What? I was really excited, and uh -huh. then he showed me the Silent Hill blockage on the map, and it was like, I'm scared now. I'm thinking about Pyramid Head. <sighs> Someone marked our map just like Silent Hill, and now he's terrified. It gave me PTSD. <laughs> First big hill. Heading up to the lookout. Yeah. So just so y'all know, uh, this outer loop. It seems to be all tagged with these very much pink ribbons on the map online and the map they give you. It very much looks like the outer loop is either brown or dark red. So just to be aware, it makes you think that you might be off track, but I guess they just marked everything with a pink. It works. Yeah, so you know you're on trail at least. Yeah. That's I guess what my idea would be. Cause there's no pink like color on there. But it's absolutely stunning. I mean, it's a really good day. Everything's nice and vibrant. It's like 70 degrees, a little bit of wind, getting a little sweat on, a little exercise. I like it. We'll keep going. So we got to the very top of the outer loop here. Uh, to the right is to the overlook. You can see the sign that's an overlook trail. We're not going to be going there. We're going to be following the outer loop here, which is just on the left. If you go forward, that's the black caped. Uh, we'll be following this sign right here again with the pink streamers. Let's go. What's up, brother? Still on the outer edge of the park. I think about halfway through the loop in total. We're getting there. Very pretty though. So another crossing, uh, we're gonna stay to the edge of the park. It looks like the outer loop is to the left. Uh, cap, or black capped is to the right. And uh, you wanted to say yeah, something? Yeah, I just wanted to mention, cause like we were talking about the pink color, like we couldn't figure out the trail cause we thought we were on the brown, but we kept seeing pink flags. So the pink flags are on literally every trail. It's yeah, just you can see them down there. Yeah, it's just to indicate you're actually on a trail, which is nice, but it, it'd be nice to be color coded too. Yeah, I mean, we've definitely been to parks and hikes where they had absolutely no marking and it made it very confusing, so. Yeah, so it's better than nothing. It's nice to know you're on the main trail, but yeah, like there are also ones we've been to where they were color coded flags too. Yeah, and we have seen split offs where it looks like they're for the park rangers only. So I'm assuming the pink ones just 
probably tell you that you're on an actual public trail right. compared to the ones that the park rangers use for their in-house day or whatever it is here. Right. So yeah, it's good to know. Yeah. Classic Texas water crossing. Oh look, those footprints. Oh wow. That's a dog. That's, that's definitely a dry wolf. You ever seen uh, The Witcher 3? Uh -uh. You ever seen Game of Thrones? Uh -uh. Starks are out here. Starks are out here. Starks are out here. All right, so here's the map. Uh, luckily, it tells us exactly where we are. We're gonna continue the outer loop all the way around back to the car. Looks like we're actually at 4.5 miles from where we started, uh, just right there. Uh, if we wanted to, we could beeline back to where the parking lots are. Uh, to the right but we're actually going to continue the outer loop like i said It'll if it gets dark we have headlamps and flashlights because yeah. it's you know winter and probably about an hour and a half to two hours left of sunlight so we're gonna go ahead and head out <sighs> looks like we're encountering another water cross very shallow not hard Very stunning, just off the trail. Uh, another crossing to the left is Buckeye. It's also an exit again if you want to get back to your car faster, but you will stay left uh, with your left side on the side of the park. You will follow the outer loop again where we will hit this Buckeye Creek, which is massive. Uh, and you'll have to cross this intense ravine maybe put on wet weather boots or do that and then we're going up do that. sun's coming down it's getting kind of dark we're gonna keep going so uh we're still traveling along the east side of the trail the very far back of the outer loop uh, it's very desolate out here there's not a lot of signs those pink ribbons are gone the only thing that keeps you kind of sane are the white marks on the trees that i guess let you know you're still on a pub public trail but uh, we should be eventually crossing a few y intersections you're just going to stay left and then we have a river crossing day to cross and hopefully it isn't that bad we'll see buckeye creek Continuing on. All right, we're gonna be following the left still for the outer loop, the Buckeye Trail right there. Very close to the end now, so just pushing through. So we got another crossing here. We're gonna go straight. I think we're about to cross the river, but let's go. Go check out what's down there, huh? River down there. I think that staircase right down there, we're gonna go down there, we're gonna wrap around, we're gonna cross just at that river crossing, should end up there. Gotta make our way back to the trucks. One of the intersections to the Black Trail, again, we're gonna keep left almost the entire time on this loop. This is quite the crossing. It's very slippery on some of these. Some of the rocks are a little bit tilty, but most folk mostly completely stable. Find you choose your footing wisely. 
be hilarious if I busted my ass after saying that, but it looks like we're home clear. These massive boulders, very pretty. Okay, back to the other side of the river. You can see the outer loop trail. Going back to the truck now. So just past the river, you can see we're here. We're just gonna finish this loop back to this main parking lot. Uh, use the Monarch Trail to get back to where we initially parked. And that will complete the outer loop at Dinosaur Valley State Park. So let's go. Past that parking lot, Monarch Trail is not really super well marked, but it's just in between all the campsites. Very easy to see. You just walk across the road uh, if you end up parking where we did. Keep following the Monarch Trail. Uh, it has a Y intersection for us since we parked around the number three on the trail map. We're gonna be taking a left. Pretty much this whole day has just been stay left. Taking that left. Finally made it back to the truck. Uh, I'm tracking from my phone uh, from the Blue Eye stop going all the way around to the outer loop. It was 8.62 miles. Uh, we did a little looking around, a little off the trail, so maybe that's a little uh, longer than it actually is, but it's about eight miles. I know it's posted on the uh, the trail map at seven and a half, so uh, definitely longer than what it says. I guess depending on where you park, but uh, honestly, this park has been beautiful. I think I like it more than Mineral Wells. Uh, the trail is very well kept, uh, easily marked. There's not a lot of people on it, uh, and it's just just a good day. Yeah. So uh, it was it was nice. I liked all the water crossings and. Water crossings were dope, and just in general, there's a lot of variety too. Because like, if you're used to Texas trails, they're pretty flat, you know. So this mm -hmm. one had a lot of hills and a lot of switchbacks. So if you if you're a little more uh, intermediate or a little more past the beginner phase, you'll like this one, this place a lot more because pretty. And then there's like lots of variety of trails. Yeah. One one thing I'll say is it's incredibly rocky, as almost everything is in Texas. So yeah. if you come here, definitely wear something to, you know, help your feet. Good insoles. Wear <laughs> real boots. Yeah, uh, protect insoles. your ankles. Yeah. But uh, yeah, not a lot of bugs, just all very nice. So I highly recommend it. And thanks for watching. Yeah.